हेलो फ्रेंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू क्लाउड और एज्योर देन दिस वीडियो इज योर बेस्ट स्टार्ट बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू कैन कॉन्फिडेंटली एक्सप्लेन टू एनी वन वाई शुड वी लर्न एंड चूज एज योर और क्लाउड फॉर आवर एप्लीकेशन ओके सो वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन क्लाउड एंड एज योर एंड वट आर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ दैम ऑल आई विल एक्सप्लेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ डायग्राम्स फ्लो डायग्राम्स एंड वेरी सिंपल एंड ईजी टू रिमेंबर डेफिनेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्लाउड फर्स्ट वट इज क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग वट इज एज योर बाय द एंड यू विल बी हंड्रेड परसेंट कॉन्फिडेंट ऑन बोथ ऑफ दीज कॉन्सेप्ट सपोज यू हैव डेवलप्ड वन एप्लीकेशन विच राइट नाउ योर यूजर्स आर एक्सेसिंग और यूजिंग योर यूजर इज टाइपिंग द यू आर एल इन द ब्राउजर and then through the internet the request hits your front end application which can be in angular react or js this front end will pass the request to the back end or api server which can be in dotnet java or node okay and if there is any data required it will get the data from the database server and finally send the response back to the user right and Yes sometimes your front end and back end can be in the same one single application okay so this is how your basic application is running with the help of the servers and the database and this servers plus database together is called infrastructure or on premises infrastructure on premises because all these servers your company have to purchase first and they have to physically maintain these servers inside their own company premises inside their own company premises right now listen carefully instead of maintaining these servers physically on their own your company can choose any cloud computing platform like azure or aws okay because there the servers databases and many other services are already present see cloud compute computing is a concept but azure aws google cloud are the implementation of cloud computing concept for example car is a concept but bmw mercedes or they are implementing the car concept same way okay so cloud computing means all these servers databases are present at some common location for example in case of azure all servers database are present in the microsoft offices okay just example and your company and many other companies can use those servers via the internet connection for their own purpose by subscribing those services or servers okay so that's why your company and many other thousands of companies now do not have to maintain any servers or hardwares inside their own office or premise okay so now inside the azure cloud there are many services for example for these front end and back end servers you can use these virtual machines like this okay these virtual machines are almost same as your application servers but uh, they are present in the azure cloud so we have a new name for them that is virtual machine next in azure cloud there are many databases but the simplest one is the azure sql database which is the most popular and very similar to your sql server database okay now similar to these services there are many other azure services which i will explain in the upcoming questions but but now you have a very good idea of a very basic azure cloud implementation for your application right now let's conclude the definition the simple definitions of first cloud computing what is cloud computing cloud computing is the delivery of computing services computing services like servers storage database networking software over the internet we call it cloud instead of using physical hardware or local servers okay and what is azure azure is the cloud computing platform provided by microsoft 
offering a wide range of services for building, deploying and managing application and infrastructure. Okay. Now you will ask, okay, now the companies do not have to maintain their own physical servers or on-premise service for application hosting, right? So that is one advantage. But what are the other advantages of using the Azure or cloud? So in the upcoming question, I will explain the five advantages of uh, Azure because if you don't know the advantages, then why you are using Azure? Why the companies will use Azure, right? And yes, going forward, I will keep explaining with the diagram on the right side and the definition on the left side so that later if you will revise from the book also, that will be very simpler for you. Quick update before the next question. I cracked Azure interview after facing many rejections. From that experience, I created this complete Azure interview course. This course include five things. Number five, 200 interview questions, all topics step by step, even if you are an Azure beginner. Fourth, real scenario based questions, just like in real interviews. Third, you can check your interview preparation status by marking questions prepared or not prepared. Second is this PDF book for quick revision. And first is Azure top 10 mock interviews. Many student cracked interviews using my courses. You can be the next. Course and book links are given in the description. If you are interested, great. If not, no worries. Let's continue with the next question. What are the five advantages of using Azure over on-premises server? Or you can say why to use Azure at all. Now you are going to master this answer. So here is the same example where a user is accessing first the front end and then the API server and the database. Okay. First clear advantage of Azure is cost saving. Cost saving, for example, your company has now 10 application and to host them your company have to purchase 10 physical servers but tomorrow might be your company is running only five application then the remaining five purchased physical servers will be waste right but azure has the pay as you go model okay pay as you go means your company has to not to purchase extra servers they have to subscribe five servers from azure if they want five if they tomorrow want only two they will can remove three and they don't have to pay for them okay so it is written over here pay as you go model as no need to buy expensive hardware pay only for what you use and no maintenance cost obviously because your company do not have the servers in their own office so no maintenance okay Second advantage is if suppose your company is hosting some e-commerce application and the users are coming mostly on the weekends. So you in weekends, your company have to buy extra physical servers to handle the requests of more users. But if your company is using Azure cloud, then the servers or virtual machines will be automatically added see here automatically added in the weekends and in the weekdays those virtual machines can be automatically removed also okay so this is called auto scaling and flexibility automatically increases or decreases resources based on the demand instant loads can be handled okay so that is the second and it is a very big advantage is because that way your company can instant increase load can be handled. Okay. Third advantage is simple high availability as your provides 99.99 .99 uptime SLA means more reliable than traditional servers. Your own servers can be down for a day but Azure servers will never be down 99.99%. Fourth advantage is disaster recovery. Meaning, in case of any disaster, automated disaster recovery and data backup will happen. Data, because data, your data is stored in multiple data centers of Azure. So, whereas in if you have on-premise servers, you have to manage separate backups, right? And that is a cost again. 
finally fifth advantage is advanced security because azure uses ai driven threat detection encryption multi layer security two factor authentication many more thing in short you do not have to bother about the security of your server hacking malware etc all right i hope now you understand completely why we should use azure cloud instead of uh, on premises servers right if yes you understood it then write crystal clear in the comment or chat section that will boost your confidence and help you remembering the answer for longer period of time okay also all the points are written in this book so that later you do not forget the answer and can revise easily great job my friend the way you finished this video shows your seriousness and dedication towards your as your goal now if you understand this video then there are many more important questions further like the saas pass saas concepts which are asked in as your interviews all i have explained in my complete course using simple definitions and easy to understand visuals many of my students have already used my courses to crack their interviews so if you are also serious about cracking your next as your interview and do not want to miss a single question then check out this course link and the pdf book link in the description below